Good morning to you. I'm Joe Holden with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. Hundreds of families are dealing with broken water mains today. This is the basement of a home in the Parkwood section of Northeast Philadelphia. At least 125 homes are dealing with the remnants of an eight inch break near Minden and Medford roads. Crews are expected to start repairs as soon as possible. Larry Krasner will be sworn in as Philadelphia's new district attorney today at the Kimmel Center. Krasner is a longtime civil rights attorney and public defender. Also today, Rebecca Reinhardt will be sworn in as the city's first ever female city controller. Gloucester County grade schoolers are finally headed back to their own classrooms. Class will resume at Whitehall Elementary School in Monroe Township. The building was shut down in October for mold cleanup. Whitehall students attended class in a section of Williamstown Middle School in the meantime. Holly Glen Elementary School there in that district was also shut down because of mold and now remains closed. Let's check in with the eyewitness weather forecast. Here is Katie Fellinger. Hi, Katie. Hey there, Joe. You know, you've probably heard the buzzword nor'easter floating around in the last couple of days, and now it's looking more and more likely that we are, in fact, going to get clipped by the outskirts of that storm system. This looks like a monster of a storm, but what's interesting is even just past midnight into Wednesday, there's not too much to track just yet, but then slowly but surely things start to take shape. By noontime, you begin to see a hint of some icing. If you look really closely across parts of Georgia, the Carolinas, and then eventually as the storm really gets its act together, we will in fact get clipped by a quick little burst of snow Wednesday night into parts of Thursday. And really what's left behind from that is a glancing blow more than anything. We'll get to snow amounts in a second, but look at how wrapped up that storm becomes and the potency it's going to have with it by the time it's reaching New England and Atlantic Canada. So we could be dealing with something a heck of a lot worse than we are. Up to three inches the expectation currently. If this map needs to be tweaked, we'll let you know. But at the shore, especially is where you're going to see the heaviest totals of any snow, even though it should be relatively light and don't discount the cold and the wind that come in the wake of this Friday and Saturday. Joe look just brutal. Mm. Well, we know you'll be tracking all of those things. Thank you, Katie. And remember, you can always get her most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBS That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Joe Holden. Have a great day.